That just looks like it it looks so painful. Oh my god, that's so obvious. Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying some elements from the routines of some of the top gymnasts in the world currently. I was super excited to film this video because it gives me, you know, something new to do at the studio. Gave me an excuse to rewatch world championships because honestly I did not do a good job of keeping up with that in the first place. And I also hope that this can like give you a bit of insight into maybe the process of learning new elements because I'd never really tried any of these elements before. So hopefully it could give you a bit of insight into what that process is like of learning a new element, progressing towards the final thing. So yeah, with that being said, let's just get into the video. Guys, we are starting off with probably the hardest mastery in this video from none other than Sofia Raffaelli's hoop. Um, let's take a look. That just looks like it, it looks so painful. We're gonna try it anyways. Need to watch it in slow mo, maybe. So it falls. It looks like it almost hits off her leg more than her like stomach. Let's try it. Let's And then I just kept repeating the mastery multiple times, hitting the ceiling a little too many times, which was very frustrating. And then I got into this sort of slump of throwing too far backwards and then the hoop just kind of hitting off my chest, not going anywhere. And then I had a couple of these attempts where the hoop actually started to go somewhere, which was giving me a little bit more hope. And then eventually, after maybe 15 minutes of trying it, finally, finally got it. So I think what worked best for me in the end was throwing it a little bit further forward and then having it hit me as I was coming up from the bridge. I had to experiment a little bit with where the hoop was hitting me, but I think what worked best was sort of like at the top of my leg, side of my hip type of area. <laughs> Finishing up the little commentary and in between section here because I am too awkward around people and people walked into the studio. So, I honestly did not expect to be able to do that one. So, I'm pretty happy that I got it. I must say it was very painful. I'm recording this the next day and just like everything is bruised like my hips, my knees, my face is bruised. So, that's really fun. For her to be able to do that like consistently in every routine is very impressive because that can go wrong in so many different ways and it can just shoot across the carpet as you guys saw in my 8 million attempts. But let's take a look at the next master I'm gonna try. It's from Daria Atamano's clubs routine. So let's take a look at it. Interesting, cause it looks like it like bounces off her back or her butt, I don't know. It 
doesn't look quite as hard as the other one, so I'm a little bit more optimistic about that one. Um, let's see, let's see how we do it. So I first just wanted to get a sense of how the club was moving, so I practiced this movement of putting the club from my head to my back, and let me just say I look so stupid trying this. And then I just tried it without the club, the movement of the roll, forgot how much that killed my back on a hardwood floor, so I grabbed my mat and then just kind of went for it. And this was my legitimate first attempt here, where it kind of didn't really bounce properly and I caught up between my legs. I don't know if that's actually a mastery, I don't think it is. But several attempts later, I noticed a lot of times it was either bouncing too far back or not bouncing enough and I just ended up kind of catching it between my legs. But then I had a couple of these close attempts like the last mastery with How gravity just pulls me right to you which eventually ended up with me getting it a few attempts later. And I think with this one, the club kind of just naturally bounces on close to the right place most of the time, just the way it falls. So I'd say mine's like kind of around my tailbone area that it ends up bouncing off of. Honestly, that one went a lot better than I had expected. It only took me about five minutes of trying it. So I'd say that one was a success. Um, up next, I'm gonna try something from Stiliana's ball routine. It's her famous side scale turn with like a little mastery. Let's watch it first. That is so impressive. Like, first of all, I have never had side scale in my routines. I do not do side scale balance. So this one's gonna be really interesting. Let's see how it goes. All right, so my approach for this one was to start off with just trying the balance, which clearly didn't start off very well. So I just practice the balance a few times to get a sense of how it's supposed to feel, get comfortable with that. And once I was satisfied with that, I grabbed the ball and tried to kind of see what the mastery was going to be like in a balanced form before starting the turn. Then once I felt comfortable with that, I progressed to trying the actual side scale turn, which as you can see, also not going very well. I just, I don't even know how this happened, so um, do with that what you will. But in general, with my side scale pivot, you can see my body is not at all low enough. It should be at a 90 degree angle. But once I thought I was doing okay, which I clearly wasn't, um, I grabbed the ball and started to try that out with the mastery, which is just like a little drop. Also, don't hold the ball like that. But then I kind of was getting the sense that something felt off, like the movement of the ball wasn't totally working. And eventually, I came to realize that I might have been doing the turn the wrong way. So I grabbed my iPad to check, and it turns out, in fact, that she does turn the other way. So naturally, I had to try this out, which I think went worse than um, doing it the original way. But I ended up realizing that it was actually easier for me to balance when I had my left leg up. Um, I was also just able to get my body lower. Um, closer to the 90 degree angle when I did it on the left side. My opening is not at all there, but balance wise, it was better for me to do it on the left side. And doing it that way, I was able to do the mastery properly. Not that the shape is there at all. But I'd say that one was pretty solid and probably about as good as it will get, so I left it at that. <laughs> so I think. I'm gonna stick to not doing side scale, and that's all I have to say about that one. All right, and that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I had a, a lot of fun filming this, despite all the bruises that I had afterwards, but it was very much worth it. If you guys would like a part two, let me know, and if you have any suggestions for elements that you want me to try in the next parts, leave them down below. But yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down below, and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already, so you get uploaded so you get notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.